All right, next thing, next exercise gym wise, diagonal boxes. So aside from the tunes, we have those rotating the scales. Yeah. You know, the boxes like we've always done forever, right? And mm -hmm. then uh, we, we had a Texas, and then we had a diagonal boxes on the A major scale. Starting off in straight eights. So starting on the five box, I'm sorry, two box, six box, seven box, one box. Yeah. Uh, I think I can. Uh, All right, so it's a little sloppy going down. Yeah, I know it. Uh, let's see. It'd be open. And I think it's... One, three, four. One. Note function six, seven, one, fingering one, three, four. Six, seven, one. Okay, six, seven, one. Six, seven, one. Two, three. No, no, go up another box. Then you go to three. Then no function number seven. Yeah. So the purpose of this is to make the notes real precise. Yep. Like this. Fine, whatever tempo you need it. Again, the way the where you're really going to get the benefit out of all of this is the focus on the quality of what you play, not the speed. What you do is you get it perfect, speed that up. Wow. So perfect for me would be perfect is just per perfect's perfect for everybody. So, in other words, you know, no grunge, no. I mean, everything is clear as a bell. So that was, that was good. I mean, all the notes were clear. They were smooth and connected. There was one note coming down that had a little grunge to it, but you heard it, you know, and fix it. So, I mean, that's what I mean by perfect. That is just, you get the time. Then you get it in time to where you can da, 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 and keep that perfection going at that time. Then speed up the time, maintaining the quality of the execution. What we want is good, clean speed. Clean speed. Okay. You know, get all the crap out of the sound. Okay. Let me try it. Uh... <laughs> so if you have, I do one, two, fours there. On anytime you have a five fret range, get used to one, two, four. You tend to do one, three, four. Yeah. And. That messes me up. I, I have to agree with you. That does mess me it up. It just... It's just not... I, I think with most people, they get more of a natural reach between their first and second fingers than they do the third and the fourth. At least a more comfortable reach. So having the one, two, four like this, because it sets this, that spacing here, is mm -hmm. easier. Boy, you got some wide space. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. You know, what you, one thing you can do is stretch, relax, stretch, relax, stretch. You know, have it like this. Look, your hands like this, right? So it's on an even plane. But stretch, relax, stretch, relax, stretch, relax. Well, you know, that explains a lot about how you play because look how far apart your fingers are compared to one. <laughs> well, that's, you know, years of doing it. But this is an exercise that can work on getting you. But don't hold it like that. Just stretch it. Relax it. Shake it out. You know, just stretch it. And you can do this a few times. But make sure it's on even playing like this. When you do it, it's not, you know. Why, why, why is it important to be on an even plane like this? Just to control it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. But don't hold it. Again, just reach it, and as soon as you feel it, like, really start to, uh... Yeah. Then, then let it rest. Okay. If you do this just a little bit every day, just, just a little bit, like, you know, a couple minutes... You know, then two or three weeks, you're going to increase your yeah. reach here. Okay.